today we are going to make chicken with pepita pesto. What's pepito? <laughs> pepita. A pepita is this. Hmm. It's a pumpkin seed. Whoop, hmm. I dropped one. Hmm. <laughs> it's okay. Hmm. Are we able to eat those raw? Yeah. Those are actually roasted and salted ones. Not bad. Aiden is helping me today, and we are going to start off by making the pesto. Uh, we have three cups of fresh basil in the blender. Do we Aiden, do this? Not yet. You're going to dump in one cup of parsley. Just oh. dump it on top. <laughs> Good job. A third of a cup of the papitas. Papitas! Good job. Yep, Mama, mm -hmm. doesn't it look like a bunch of veggies in a forest? <laughs> it does, huh? These are the coconuts, and this is the tree. Actually, these are the nuts on the tree. Okay. It does look very pretty. And then you know what? It said it looks like a big giant tree. Well, this is going to look like snow on the tree. Can you put um, this half a cup of Parmesan cheese? Parmesan cheese. It actually does. And then we are going to do two tablespoons of minced garlic. Oh, that just came out. Good. Can you crack some pepper in there? We want half a teaspoon, so I'll let you know when to stop. And I'm going to get us some lemon juice, too. Could you make me some lemon juice? You need some lemonade? Yeah, I mean lemonade, though. I will need some more lemons. <laughs> Uh, the nice thing about pesto, I know a lot of people don't make their own pesto, but it's very easy. And you can change it up by using different herbs or different nuts. Is this good? One more. Thank you. We are going to get two tablespoons of lemon juice. Mm -hmm. One. Can I do the other one? Sure. I got it! Do it! I'm just getting it there. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna use a half a cup of extra virgin olive oil. How? Where are we gonna put that? So what we're gonna do is that first you're going to hit pulse about three times just to get it started. Hit it again. Start this on low. Okay. Keep it going. I just want to knock some of the stuff off of there. That actually sure. smells kind of good. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I'm just going down the sides to make sure all of this gets combined into the pesto. Good job, love. <laughs> you want to taste it to see if it's ready? Mm -hmm. See if it needs anything, if it needs more. Mom, what are we making? This is the pesto, and we're going to mm -hmm. put it on some chicken. So we need to taste to see if it needs more garlic, cheese. Anything good? Mm-hmm. Mm. It, it, it tastes like um, garlic, not sauce. <laughs> yeah, I think that's good. So remember to try your pesto before you're done. See if it needs more lemon juice, more olive oil, more pepper, um, just to make sure it's exactly how you want it. So what I did was I put half of the pesto in with the chicken breast, and then we're gonna save the other half of the pesto to top the chicken off with. Um, so I'm going to mix it around to make sure it gets all over the chicken. And I am going to let the chicken hang out for about 30 minutes. And then you can do it longer if you want. And then um, afterward, I will come back and show you how we cook this. Hi everyone, so we are back and what we are doing right now is that we are um, 
just browning both sides of the chicken um, in a cast iron pan. You could also use another oven safe pan. And then we are going to finish it off in the oven for about 10 minutes. So here is our pesto chicken right out of the oven and uh, we are going to let it rest for about 10 minutes and then we will come back and taste it with you all. Hi everyone, we are back and we are ready to taste our pesto chicken. Mm. I think you could taste like the garlic and the cheese and the olive oil. I think it tastes really yummy. So what do you think? Three thousand thumbs up. <laughs> Three thousand thumbs up. Thank you for helping me. <laughs> You're welcome. Aiden spilled a little bit. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye everyone.